I think I know what this is. I backed the Threadlight Omnibus Kickstarter, and I'm pretty sure what's in this box that I just received is the final product. So I thought I'd do an unboxing. It's my first unboxing video, so forgive me if things are a little awkward. <laughs> I thought I'd show you what's in the box and what it looks like, as well as give you my thoughts on the series because I've already read them. I listened to them on audiobook and they are pretty good. So I want to give you my thoughts as well as show you the actual product that I received. I'm so excited to have this on my shelf. Books are my weakness, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alrighty. Don't judge me. Book mail is the best mail. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> oh, so much wrapping. <laughs> Look at it. It is beautiful. So let me get the plastic off so you can see it better. I first heard about this series shortly before the Kickstarter launched. Some other people I saw had recommended it, so I thought I'd give it a try because I've been looking for some more adult fantasy that suits this type of storytelling that I'm interested in. A lot of adult fantasy is too dark and gritty <laughs> for me. I prefer something a little lighter. The goal for me is to find books that I can read without worrying about a lot of content that I don't feel comfortable with, and so I've been searching for more books akin to the style of Brandon Sanderson because he's one of my favorite fantasy authors. So I've been looking for more books published by large and small publishers that fit that mold. When I'd heard some people comparing this series to some of Brandon Sanderson's style of writing, I thought it might be a good fit for me. I started listening to the first book on audiobook and just got sucked in. Uh, let's take a look at what we got here. I love the slip case that came with it. Gotta love a good sword. Look at the beautiful blue and gold. And it has painted edges, of course. I don't have very many books that have painted edges yet, but I recently discovered the craze and I understand. I understand it. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> This actually combines all three books from the Threadlight Trilogy, which is nice because I like to have a nice thick book. Let's take a look inside here. It has gorgeous end papers and of course a good map. Every fantasy story should have a map. I'm actually excited to look at this because since I listened to the audiobook, I never really saw what the map looks like. <laughs> so it'll be good to know where things are in relationship to each other because I did not understand some of that. And it is signed. It includes the original cover art as illustrations in the book, which is nice because those are also lovely. I love having a like shiny gold gilt cover, but the original artwork is really, really nice actually. And there's a, there's a draw there as well. <laughs> I'm excited to finally have the physical version so I can read it rather than just listening. Because I love audiobooks, but at the same time, I am very much a physical books kind of person. So what is this series about? It's a little hard to describe because there's a lot of moving pieces, but the main thrust of it is that there's this hard magic system. If you know what that means, it, it basically means that there's a magic system that's very clearly defined and has specific rules that it follows. Kind of like how Brandon Sanderson uses magic in his word, works. There's specific rules that the magic has to follow. And in this case, it's Threadlight, which is certain people have this ability to see and use a certain kind of magic that exists in the world. And they're able to either pull things towards them, push them away, or some other things as well, like their their ability to, to cut their gravitational pull to the earth and some other things like that. So if you like hard magic systems, you might really dig this world building. Some fun stuff with animal bonds and intelligent wolves and things like that. The main character is actually a new father, which is a fascinating twist on some of the 
tropes that you might have of like the chosen one or you know prophecies of of you know babies being born it, it has a it's a fun twist on that i enjoyed having not only this new father but also the mother is very much involved in the story which is kind of rare to have a a mother who is freshly given birth a major part of a fantasy epic story so i think it was uh, it was a bold choice and I respect it a lot because you don't see a lot of normal <laughs> normal families in the midst of a you know massive uh, epic kind of world changing story. And I really appreciated that. It felt like a, a breath of fresh air and not only just the, the the parents of the story but also the previous generations. The mother of the main character is also very much involved in the story and I thought that was really cool to see an a, you know more mature woman having these magical powers and taking charge and, and using them to protect her family. Themes of family and um, doing the right thing in the face of what seems to be impossible these are themes that I always love and so that was great to see in this story a lot of those types of things. There were a few elements that I didn't like especially in the third book uh, particularly when it came to some of the the massive decisions that the characters had to make and there was no good answer. I hate stories that give you a dilemma that just every solution is bad. And so that rubbed me the wrong way, especially in the third book, but the first two books I adored. I loved how epic and intense they were and they're very fast paced because as you can see, all three books fit into one omnibus. So it's not a super long series. It's a quick read. I enjoyed listening to it as I went walking my dog and just constantly, oh, there's there's new plot points moving forward and there's no stale moments. That's some of my thoughts on the Threadlight series. If you enjoy hard magic systems and themes about family and uh, stuff like that, you'll probably enjoy it. I, as, just as I mentioned before, the one caveat is if you don't like stories that have a no-win dilemma, that's one thing that you may not enjoy about the third book. But give it a try and let me know if you've read it, if you enjoyed it, and uh, what other books you think fit those types of tropes because I'm always looking for more. <laughs> but I am excited to finally have my copy of the Threadlight Trilogy by Zach Argyle. And if you like unboxing videos, please let me know because I have more books coming in the future and I'd love to know if this is something you'd like to see more of. That's all for now and hope to see you next time back in the treehouse.